I'm gonna treat myself. I ain't a tea towel, surely not. Trying to incorporate a little bit more of a vegan diet. Danny Dyer, where are you, hon? I'm gonna DM her. Are you actually? Yeah. <laughs> It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy Hello again, welcome to another little vlog I don't know if it's going to be a daily, a weekly Or whatever kind of vlog, but it's going to be something So there's that Today's actually Tuesday It is 9.22am in the Big Brother house And I'm about to head into London for a meeting And I think afterwards I'm going to quickly pop to Oxford Street And have a little look at a bag I've been eyeing up Also if I get time I kind of want to pop to Glossier Glossier, Glossier I ordered a bunch of stuff from their website at the minute But I'm having regrets about not putting certain things in my basket so I'm pretty sure the pop-up shop is still open in Covent Garden so I might pop there I've done my makeup very natural today gone for this little glowy vibe my skincare routine at the minute honestly I feel like I've cracked it I've literally cracked the skincare secret so I'm gonna share that with you guys over on my Instagram very very soon it might already be up actually it's such a lovely day today oh god it's bright quickly before I head off I thought I'd show you today's outfit so my jumper is from Topshop a few years ago now it's literally just a grey roll neck jumper my jacket is also from Topshop absolutely love this it's so nice and warm my trousers are from lounge apparel they came in a little set with a crop top as well ready to go Every day, 24 7, you call my name, and I will come running. Yeah, every day, 24 7, yeah, every day. So, guys, I have finished my meeting now. I've just been into Glossier. It was so cute in there. I actually picked up a few things, so I'll show you those when I get home. But I'm now walking, I'm actually in Leicester Square at the minute. It's such a nice day, it's so bright, everyone's in a good mood. And I'm currently walking to a shop called The Couples, because I've had my eye on this bag, I'm gonna go and see if they've got it in stock, I just wanna have a look at it. But today's meeting was very, very productive, so happy Tuesday. Hello, so I'm back. Um, I've had a nap for two hours, I'm not gonna lie. But I thought I would show you guys what I picked up in London today because I had a little day to myself. I'm sure a lot of you guys know, especially if you follow me on Instagram, that my dad has just had a massive heart surgery and he's at home recovering at the minute. So my mum and I are at home pretty much all the time looking after him. But I had a meeting in London today, so I thought while I know my mum's here and he's fine, I'm gonna make the most of my little day out. <laughs> How sad, my day out by myself. But it was actually really nice to have a look around the shops spend some time with my own thoughts and walk through the big city with nothing else to worry about da -da -da -da, the little pink pouches here is a little sneak peek at some more things i picked up the first being another lid star this is the shade moon then i also got the stretch concealer this was the main thing that i wanted to get it is supposed to be very minimal coverage but i feel like how can you test a makeup brand and not buy a concealer i got this in the shade g9 and the last thing that i got is the perfume because I didn't want to buy a perfume online without spelling it look how cute the bottle is as well all the packaging is just adorable this was also in the bag not sure what this is that ain't a tea towel is it what is that it's got the balm.coms on it what is this for it's like satin that ain't a tea towel surely not bougiest tea towel ever oh <laughs> It's a limited edition scarf. That ain't big enough to be a scarf either though. I love a freebie, but I'm not sure what to do with that. The next thing I bought today, my train was actually canceled from Stratford. So I thought, you know what? I might as well go in and have a look in Westfield. So I wanted to get some little hoops for my second holes because I re-pierced my ears. I know, I'm insane, it hurts so badly. So I wanted to have a look for some new earrings and I went into La Visa, because they're so cheap in there. But these are both from the Sterling Silver range. These are for my first holes, I think. Are these little heart hoop earrings, how pretty are they? These were nine pounds. And then the other ones I got were this pack of two. I just thought that either of those earrings would look nice in my second holes. And these were £13, so not bad. Then, I also bought a bag today because I've had my eye on this bag for a while. But I wanted to go and see it in person, see the size of it, see the inside, like the compartments and stuff like that. And then I decided if I like it, I'm going to treat myself. Never bought anything from the Couples before. But the bag itself, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, 
looks like this so it's just plain black i really like the strap though because it's like quite thick it's got these studs on it it's adjustable both sides as well you can take the strap off too so if you want to just have it as a little carry bag and then inside in the big compartment it has like two compartments it's also got a zip compartment which i absolutely love so handy in a bag for all your little bits and bobs and then this front compartment i probably won't put anything in that because i feel like it will misshape the bag maybe like receipts and stuff but nothing too much so yeah that is the new bag i bought today i absolutely love it i think it looks so cute worn like this i love the gold hardware around the bottom as well i love her she's adorable hello everyone so it is now the next day and i'm here with fred story of my life i gave you a home i drive all night fred got a parking ticket the other day I, I get them every week. It's ridiculous. You do. I spend a hundred. That's because Fred, you park in the wrong places, and then you argue with people because you won't admit that you're in the wrong place, even though you definitely are. Yeah, I know. But you know... <gasps> starting. But I tell you what. Normally, I speak to the angels and get them to. Yeah, definitely. See, but I want my driver. <laughs> um, I get them to like look after me, and normally they do. But I forgot to speak to them that day, and they, that's why I got a ticket. Fred parked in the wrong place when I was with him the other day, and he was like, "That's no, all right. The angels will look after us." Nightmare. Anyway, we're off to Nando's. We've had a morning of filming. I'm excited for a Nand. We've been very productive, haven't we? We have. What Lo am I going to order from Nando's, Fred? Um, you're going to order a wrap. Yeah. What well, spice? Medium. Yes. All going to order some pineapple, some peri chips, and some coleslaw. Yes. Go on, Fred. Smash that Nando's order. Smash. Are you going to go for a Fino Pitta? I'm going to go for a Fino Pitta. Always. Okay, I forgot to vlog the Nando's. Really sorry about it. It's in there. You're so tanned, Fred. Been on a sunbed lately? Yeah, I have, one. I have 20 minutes every week. Uh, it's a nice colour. Anyway, we're now in Boots and we are looking for Danny Dyer's Vaseline range. We've been looking for it. Every time we've come out, we've popped into a Boots and a super drug to have a look for it and we still haven't found it and Fred really wants it. Is it the blue one you want, Fred? Yeah. Anyway, Danny Dyer, where are you, hun? Oh, yeah. We've been searching high and low. No. Lip section. It's not there, Fred. It's not, is it? No, it's not. Have you seen it, Hayes? No. Have you are you sure it, like? it exists? <laughs> I'm gonna DM her. Are you actually? Yeah. Hi, hun. Where's your Vaseline's? <laughs> hey, hun. Where can I buy your bass elaine thanks yeah imagine if she replies i will die will die press and see a blue tick so it's quite it's quite a high chance <laughs> we'll keep it? you updated <laughs> she just I posted saw. it on her story think... <laughs> where is it so it does exist i weren't lying maybe we're in the wrong section fred guys i've just found these right hair food hair mask conditioner i'm gonna get this so this one is what is that? Goji and soy. It smells delicious though. It smells like strawberries, like berries kind of. And it's half price, £3.50 in boots. Gonna give it a try because there's actually a lot of conditioner in there. What a bug, Fred. What a bug. Bug. <laughs> I've just realised that Fred's go-to radio stations are either smooth or magic. I never would have guessed that from you, Fred. I like an old school. You do, don't you? I love a Whitney. I love a Whitney, I love an Adele. I'm more of a capital kind of gal myself, although well, I do love Adele. Let me know in the comments, though. What's your go-to radio station? I normally get reeks for shit like that. Do you? Yeah, because For loving just, a bit of smooth? I, yeah, I just like, I like, I like, I love listening to Kate Garrett in the morning. She's like, isn't she? <laughs> do you remember when I had a crash coming back from Lakeside? <laughs> yeah. Love that for us. Oh, I do need to be in this lane. Oh, God, you're going to crash. Again. It's your car. It's the same oh, plate it's as well, car. isn't it? Flora. It's a no known plate. No, that's not mine. Mine's a 13. Do you know how to tell the age of the plate? Absolutely not. Oh, you're joking. No. How did I tell that was a no known plate? Well, because that's a zone 09 on it, but mine doesn't say 13 on it. Yeah, it will. Anyone else not it understand does. number plates? No, it don't. It's... I'll tell you the age of your car when you get back. Okay. <laughs> like, what's that? 14. Yeah, what if that said. 15. What if that said. Look, what about that one that says 62? 62. That, that is 90. a 2012 plate, but halfway through the year because there's a plate that comes out in March and a plate that comes out in. I'm in the wrong plate. <laughs> plate that comes out in September. That actually was very intelligent of you. Thank you. What's that, that one? 17. Well done. What about 66? Halfway through 2016. What about if it's 2016? 69. We're going to go play the number plate game now. <laughs> 
Happy Wednesday. Good morning, guys. It is literally about quarter to eight. I'm up early this morning because I'm off to the doctors to have a blood test. Woo! Basically, because my dad recently had this heart surgery. It is actually a hereditary problem. Hereditary? Yeah. My granddad had the same thing, then obviously my dad had to have the operation, so me and my brother both have to be tested to see basically what our fate is. <laughs> so I'm off to the doctors, just very quickly moisturised. I've been loving my skincare routine at the minute. Maybe I'll share some of my new favourite products with you when I get back, because honestly, I'm loving this little glowy, healthy look. All of the things that I wish I could tell you every now back from my blood test and I've had my breakfast. I've had a really productive morning actually. I'm feeling very, I don't know, just like I'm having a good day today. I think it's the porridge in the morning, you know, life changing. Porridge with oat milk and a little bit of honey, oh lovely. Sets you up right nice for the day. <laughs> and then when I came back, I have cleaned and tidied my whole bedroom and office. I just haven't done it for a while so I thought, give it a little anti back, give it a little wipe down. Since I changed my bedroom, this little station is perfect for keeping products that I'm like using either for brand deals or things I'm trying out. It's like my little station of things in progress <laughs> and I'm actually so excited because two of my recent brand deals are with NARS and Too Faced on Instagram. I've been using both of these religiously since I got them. I like to try things out thoroughly before I recommend them to you guys and honestly this skincare is... <sighs> probably my favourite skincare I've ever found. I feel like I'm cheating on the body shop by saying that because I love the body shop's vitamin E cleanser so much but then I also use the Too Faced Hangover Wash the Day Away Facial Cleanser. I've kept them all in the boxes for now just in case the team at Too Faced want me to show it in the box and then Oh my god, this is my favourite thing out of this trio. The Too Faced Hangover Pillow Cream Ultra Nourishing Night Cream. This vlog's not sponsored by the way, I am working with them on Instagram in a little while, but they haven't asked me to mention it in this vlog. But honestly guys, this is a night cream, but I'm using it morning and night at the minute because I love it that much. It's kind of like, the only way I can describe it, it's a little bit holographic on your skin. They're also going to be sending me a serum very soon to test out. But the last thing for now is the Hangover Pillow Balm. This is like a lip treatment rather than just a balm. I put it on, say, at like 11 o'clock in the morning and I can still feel it after eating and drinking at about 7pm. It makes your lips feel so nice all day long. So yeah, I'm very excited to be working with Too Faced on these products because I genuinely love all of them. I think one of the Insta posts will actually already be up. It is a no makeup face. So please go and give that some love if you haven't already because I'm a little bit nervous about posting it. I'm not going to lie. No makeup Instagrams are always a little bit scary. Anyway, I've rambled for way too long. I literally just picked up the camera to tell you I'm going to M&S. This basket is ridiculously heavy. I bet you can't wait for my M&S haul. I thought I would show you what I bought at M&S today because I feel like I love watching people's food hauls because it gives me some inspo for some dinners. I think, oh, I'd like to try that. So first thing I got, I absolutely love M&S's stir fry meal deals they do. So for the meal deal, I got these peanut pad thai rice noodles and also these look delish rainbow vegetables. Got some broccoli, some spring onions, some carrots in there, but it's missing the bean sprouts. Let me know in the comments down below. Hello, are you a lover or a hater of bean sprouts? I'm in the middle. I don't love them, but I don't hate them, but I feel like you can't have a stir fry without them. And then you also choose your sauce. So I've gone for pad thai style sauce because I thought that would go well with the pad thai peanut noodles. I love M&S's little salad pots. My fave is the rainbow salad and my dad likes the three bean salad. So I got these because they're two for £3.50. And then I also got these chicken steaks. They actually go off today. So they were reduced to £2.80. But I think me and my dad are both going to have one and then we can freeze the other two. Then my fruity section of the haul. First thing I got are some pomegranate seeds. Got some strawberries because I've been loving having some strawberries in the evening. And also some mango. Fun fact about me, my favourite fruit ever is mango. Then my friends, me and my family are trying to incorporate a little bit more of a vegan diet into our diet because everything that's happened with my dad recently, he's spoken to a lot of the nurses and the surgeons and a lot of them recommend eating less red meat but also less meat altogether because we eat a lot of meat in our family. I have switched over to oat milk in the mornings and almond milk in my coffees. The only time I drink cow's milk now is with tea because I can't find an alternative 
still that tastes the same in tea. But meat we do eat with pretty much every meal. So I know I've just shown you some chicken that we're going to eat today. But we also got these no duck spring rolls because we all love spring rolls. Also got these which I've wanted to try for so long and I've just never actually got around to picking them up. These are sweet corn and chickpea burgers. I reckon they're going to be delish in a little burger bun which I have here. Six super soft white baps. And then I'm going to put a little bit of onion, lettuce, cucumber in there. Maybe a little bit of mayo. Or does that defeat the purpose of it being vegan? I don't know. I'm trying my best. I feel like little changes you can make are better than no changes. We also got some no pork sausages. And then the last vegan thing are these no chicken kievs. And we've actually had these before and we really, really like them. I would buy these instead of chicken kievs all the time now because they taste literally the same but then we also got some raspberry sorbet although my fave at the minute is the ben and jerry's vegan ice cream hang on let me show you it this ice cream is the best ice cream i've ever had vegan or dairy ice cream this one is my absolute favorite but anyway the last two things i got from MS are some hot cross buns and also some little blueberry pancakes apologies if you found this food hall really boring but this is the kind of thing i'd enjoy watching <laughs> I'm in my mum's car. Brum brum. Joking, I'm in my car. It's a lot later now. It's actually seven o'clock. I've just posted the Instagram with two faced. Oh, look. When I put my foot on the brake, obviously it lights up. <laughs> it's now seven o'clock. It's Friday night. I'm about to head to one of my friends, Chelsea's house. And we are going to have, I think, little fish and chips. Fish and chips Friday. I don't think I'm really going to vlog though, because we're just going to have a chill evening. See you later, guys. Possibly tomorrow. Who knows? God, I'm keeping you on the edge, aren't I? Actually, I'm back already because I'm obsessed with Selena Gomez's new album, specifically the song Vulnerable. When I went to her event last month, she explained that this song is about staying single and vulnerable rather than being in a relationship and being unhappy. And do you know what? Amen, sis. Amen. I'm obsessed with this song. Congratulations. You have made it to the end of the vlog. I've just finished editing this vlog and it wasn't the most interesting. Sorry about it, but that's what my life was this week. From exciting meetings to blood tests tests to DMing Danny Dyer in the middle of boots. That was what happened with my week so I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. But anyway guys do subscribe if you haven't already because I now have my videos planned up until the end of March. I'm feeling prepared and let me tell you there's some exciting ones in there. Very exciting ones. So stick around for it. But anyway thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye guys. Love ya.